Hello guys and welcome back to your sixth tutorial on MATLAB. Uh, today as I promised in the uh, previous tutorial I'm going to start going into some real programming stuff. So we're going to be start start talking about the if, else, if else, etc, etc operators. So uh, why don't we get started. Um, first I'll create a variable. We'll call him var1. Set him equal to 1. So we have our var1 equals 1. And let's start out by using the if condition, our if keyword. We use an open parentheses, our test condition. So let's say if var1 is equal to 1, press enter. Uh, we'll go to the next line. And if they're equal to one another, we want to uh, print out a, a statement. So let's say the statement is var1 equals uh, 1, I guess. All right, um, so if we press enter again, we go to the next line. As soon as we end the if statement with an end, then we press enter, it'll evaluate this whole block of code. So if we press enter, we get back the um, we get back the string that we typed in because it evaluated true. So if it evaluates true, the if condition or the if uh, block will evaluate everything inside. Um, now if we set var one equal to something else, say var two var1 equals 2 so var1 now equals 2 and we do the if var1 equals equals 1 again var1 equals 1 I guess and we end this we don't get anything back because in this case we have var1 is not equal to 1 so it didn't evaluate and the code inside of the if block did not um, process or wasn't uh, processed so um, there's also the else statement if this condition evaluates false then we want to do something else so when I press the up arrow a couple times and we'll do the uh, same thing we did before except instead of end we're gonna type in the keyword else and else um, var1 equals something else I guess okay and then likewise we also end that with an end as soon as we press enter and evaluate uh, this uh, line of code here so since if is not equal to 1 it went to the else case so we have printed out var1 equals something else I guess as opposed to var1 equals 1 um, okay well we have one more keyword that we can use with um, the if test conditional um, or the if uh, keyword and that's the if else so if we want to test two things say if var1 equals 1 print out um, var1 equals 1 else if var1 is equal to let's say 2 we'll print out var1 and we can also use our else again um, so when we put that in there too else var1 equals something else now we end all this with an end again press enter evaluate all its stuff inside the if and we get back var1 equals 2 and the reason why we get that string back this time is because well we set var1 equal to 2 so the second condition or, or the 
second condition evaluates true and we get var1 back. Um, if we change var1 to equal something other than 1 or 2, say 3, and we put this tedious line of code in again. Um, sorry about this, guys. Um, yeah, okay. Get the else back here. Why don't I just type it in? Else some stuff. I don't know. And we end that. And now that we change var1 to equal 3, we should get the last test condition to evaluate because var1 doesn't equal 1, var1 doesn't equal 2. So otherwise, or else in this case, print out some stuff. And we printed out some stuff. So this pretty much concludes the if the else and the if else keywords. Remember we always have to end them with an end. Well, that's easy to remember. End with an end. So the next tutorial we'll start getting into loops and that will become in, come in handy when we start writing programs that need to keep repeating for a certain period of time. But until then uh, we'll stick with this I guess. So anyhow see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.